This R. Askredit user asks. What screams, I have zero self-confidence. Friend. Stop apologizing, me. I'm sorry. Yeah but like that's a bit of a trick question. Only it's not a question. I have the biggest IQ. Maybe bigger than anyone else. No one is as smart as I am. And my cabinet is also the greatest cabinets ever assembled. Quote. Immediately discrediting all of your own skill. That and or. Cause it's in the same line of things. Going, I wish I could do underscore underscore underscore. But when someone says why not an immediate retraction of I am never gonna be that good or I can't achieve that level of skill. Come on. Just about any able-bodied person can achieve what they want. I suck at drawing. I still occasionally draw. And sure it might look like CP in the eyes of artist Gordon Ramsay. But it still impresses my friends. No matter how minuscule you think your talent is. You still. Have. That talent. You're a really good sniper in a shooter but you keep saying you suck at FPS? You have the accuracy. You just need to learn the other skills required to play faster paced games. It's never you can't do something. It's that you don't think you can. If you project walls that aren't there and enforce them like concrete. You'll never get anything done. Does I have to look at what other people do in order to know if I should do or am allowed to go somewhere, scream that? Checking what speed other people's windows wipers are to make sure yours aren't too fast for the situation. This is a personal attack. Lying about everything. Or just pretending to like something because that's what majority of other people in the group like. I see this all the time and it's infuriating. Fishing for compliments. Yeah saying something like, I'm so ugly, and then expecting people to tell you the opposite. One time a girl in my class was drawing and was constantly saying, I'm so bad, and this is such a bad sketch, and after about 100 times I finally said, yeah, but there's always room for improvement, and she just looked angrily at me. That's not lack of self-confidence though. That's just need for attention. If she lacked self-confidence she'd have been serious about being bad and reacted with sadness not anger upon you agreeing with her. I'd put that down to vanity. Not low self-esteem. Walking with slumped shoulders while Charlie Brown music plays in the background. Charlie Brown music. To be clear. We're talking about the instrumental version of Christmas Time Is Here. Right? I just started watching Arrested Development for the first time and it's hilarious every time. Good grief. Writing a comment on here and them immediately deleting it out of fear of what people might say. Asking, what screams, I have zero self-confidence. On Askredit. Shots fired. What is this? A peaceful protest? Constantly trying to one-up everyone's stories. I knew a dude who tried to two-up everyone's stories. Oh yeah? Well I knew a guy who tried to three-up everyone's stories. Pathetic. I know a guy who four-ups everyone's stories. Social ineptitude being a badge of honor to someone. Like if someone brags about falling apart when they're trying to order a Subway sandwich or something. I don't talk to people because they don't really need to hear from me. I don't make plans with people because they're probably busy or have something better to do. I don't share things with people because they're probably boring to them or they don't care anyway. People aren't interested in the same things I like so why should I need to talk about them? The thing can occupy my time. I don't need to occupy their time with it as well. People don't need me. They can get what I offer from other people. If I am okay with myself. I'll leave the opportunity open to others that need each other. Dot. All of my negativity is externalized. It isn't an I'm useless thing. It's they don't really care kind of thing. It isn't about me but about them. It's not like I hate people. Quite the opposite. I love them all so much. But I feel that it isn't reciprocated. I love me as well. I can love me more than they can. So what is the point? Surely I am better by myself. I love it when I get to hang out with people. In group settings or when I go and do something with someone.
but it's usually so rare. I only really do it when I know the other person wants to do it. I can't fathom how my attendance makes whatever plan actually worthwhile making. Everyone is so much better company to everyone else. I'm just a small addition who joins in sometimes. When I put this into words, it gets weird. Sorry for the ramble. Your post just accidentally prompted me. Not going to the doctor fearing that she or he will judge you for every little minor injury or disease or even body hair that you have. Haha <laughs> you fg idiot. You got seborrheic dermatitis. How could you possible be so stupid? Hey Sharon come over and look at this moron. Quote. Sharon. OMG. No. He's disgusting. Quote. I'm just scared they won't think I'm sick enough. Ha you think that pain is bad? I have 50 patients a day with brain damage who actually need help. Interpreting every social interaction as a personal attack. Why are you attacking me like this? A friend of mine does this. But she also has a PTSD condition due to growing up with a narcissistic alcoholic parent who designated her the black sheep of the family. She is basically hyper attentive, constantly on guard. And if you crack two seemingly similar jokes about a subject she cares about, she can be fine with one, but explode with the other. Because her span of what is acceptable is so much smaller than a normal person. And the reactions can be very outward. And sometimes she just keeps it in and lets it build up. Hanging on to it for days. Not saying that it's acceptable. Just saying that it could mean the person has a more serious underlying problem other than just poor self-esteem. I think they are pretty much the same though. Having poor self-esteem can be caused by abuse. So she might be reacting due to poor self-esteem caused by her abuse. Anxiously checking this post just to see if I do any of the things in the top comments. Being unable to admit you're being used. Putting other people down. Whether it's straight insults, negging, mean teasing, cruel jokes that are targeted to hit home, or shit talking behind other people's backs. Nothing says more clearly, I feel so low that I have to tear everyone around me down just to feel a tiny bit better about myself. Quote. People like that are addicted to their own misery. That's why they'd rather spread it around than to get help. A ton of makeup. I'm not talking about bold or colorful looks. Which I personally find fabulous and creative. More like. Thickly painted foundation because no one must know that you have skin. Using 80 filters and hiding your face when posting a picture in social media. My nose is so big it looks fake. Masks and covering my face are like blessing. I'm sure it probably doesn't look as big in person though. Cameras always BFG up people's faces. My mom doesn't even look like my mom in photos. She has a thin face but somehow a camera makes it look round and way fatter than it is. It's like magic. Constant apologies. Too many sarcastic comments, jokes and most importantly how he, she walks. All Minnesotans and Canadians can relate to the first one. Bullying other people for no reason. Belittling those below you. Trying to fight strangers in bars or on the street for brushing, bumping into you. This was definitely me in high school and I was an insecure AE. It gives you a sense of being better than somebody and a fake sense of respect when people are scared of you or your friends think you're tough. All in all though, it's a mix of projecting and immaturity. This needs to be higher. FG hate when people act like this. Like what are you? For? Edit. My comment said only, men. Because that's just my personal experience. But I don't wanna sound like a sexist AE so I changed it to, people. It's not just men. When my sister has had too many she gets pretty saucy with other people. We'll be standing there in a group chatting away and suddenly she is like, OMFG. Did you see that BH just intentionally bump into me? I won't give that WE the business. Quote. Then she expectantly looks at the guys like we are supposed to start slapping people around to defend her honor. 
that's when I know it is time to get her home. Bad posture. Lacking eye contact. Going overboard with self-deprecating comments. Yo don't call me out like this. Ask your mom to go ask for some ketchup packets at the counter of any restaurant. Constantly bragging about how much SX you get. Caring how many likes you get on social media. I deleted Instagram once I realized I had this problem. I was obsessed with posting pics of myself and would reload my screen for hours looking at all the likes and comments I got. Always wanted more it's impossible to be satisfied. Once Instagram started hiding likes. I started to care less about how many I've gotten which is fantastic. I hope Instagram does more things like this. My Instagram still showed likes before I deleted it which was not that long ago like a week ago and I'm pretty sure it was updated and everything. Staring at women but never saying a word. Starting every conversation with, I'm sorry, or, maybe I'm wrong. But, quote, I'm in this picture and I don't like it. Every conversation? Okay. That's bad. But it's a useful tactic when you have to tell your boss he's wrong. I did it years ago when I was just starting out as a staff accountant. A partner in the firm told me something that I found out after closer examination was completely wrong. So I went to him and said, I know I've got this wrong, but this is how I see it. What am I missing? He looked at it and immediately admitted I was right and he was wrong and commended me for catching it. In my field, you meet a lot of people who are lacking in the social graces. I've seen other accountants in the same situation go to a partner and say things like, what you told me, it's totally wrong, and their careers just go into a death spiral. I do the, maybe I'm wrong but, pretty often when saying stuff online because people go in on people these days online when someone says something they even slightly disagree with so I say that in hopes of being able to just say my lighthearted comment that isn't even that deep and not have it turn into a Facebook comment war. Maybe I'm wrong though. I guess whatever I've been doing for the last 27 years. You should just do a George Costanza. Whatever your initial instinct is on something. Do the exact opposite. You'll be president of Major League Baseball in no time. My name is George. I'm unemployed. And I live with my parents. Quote. Taking back a cheating guy. I said what I said. Lack of direct eye contact. Mean to girlfriend, wife. Just being mean in general. People often see being nice as a sign of weakness. The truth is as takes great strength to deal with all the CP this world throws at everyone and still. Choose. To be kind. What do you do when your girlfriend is mean to your wife? Then I'm mean to my wife's boyfriend. Clicking my Reddit profile to see if any of my comments have gotten new upvotes. Yay. There's one. Here's some more dopamine from yours truly. Seeking validation all the time even from strangers. Ordering your military to fire tear gas and flash bangs at your own citizens so you can take a photo at a church with a book you've never opened. And you hold the book the wrong way up. To add insult to injury. And it's not even the right book. Evangelicals use the NIV or KJB. Not the RSV. What the FK is RSV? I've never heard of that one. My parents are Baptist. I've heard of KJV, NKJV, and NIV, but to them it's KJV or HL basically. Bragging about money. Taking the blame automatically in every bad situation. Even if all evidence shows they had no contribution towards the problem. And not even putting a fight about. Just assuming they're wrong always. Also another one is if you compliment them even casually. They will find it extremely difficult to actually believe that you're being sincere and it's not a joke. I know these two because I was this way. It's impossible for me to accept compliments. Even from my husband. I just figure he's trying to be nice and is obligated to say it. Despite the fact that he pursued me. My brain just doesn't let me think correctly. 
one thing that helped me with this is being able to react to the person as though I do accept it. Even though my brain doesn't believe it. It's a bit of fake it till you make it but it worked for me. I started doing this when someone pointed out that it feels really shitty to give someone a compliment and have them immediately essentially mock you for saying something nice. That they probably do mean. So basically. I started accepting compliments out loud for the other person's sake. And that helped me over time to not have the immediate brain rejection of the words. My wife does this too. I'll tell her she looks beautiful in an outfit and she just replies. You have to say that. No. I don't. I could just keep my mouth shut and not say anything. But I think you look good and I'm verbalizing it. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more videos.